Do you want to know how to break down the manifestation process into four simple steps? Well, lucky for you, I am going to teach you that today. And I want you to stay right until the end because I have a bonus fifth step that is going to help you to speed up this process and you're not going to want to miss it. Hello, Kathleen Cameron here, Chief Manifestation and Success Coach for Diamond Academy. I am here today to share with you four tips on how you can break down the manifestation process so that you can do it easily and quickly and not think a second thought about this process and make it automatic. I am so happy to have you here and so grateful for the opportunity for me to be able to teach you what I have done. I have manifested things into my life far beyond what I ever thought possible. And I'm here to show you exactly what I did to bring forth multi millions of dollars into my life through this simple four step process. Okay, so the first thing that is so incredibly important when you break down the manifestation process is to understand really what it is and really what we're talking about. So manifestation is holding an idea on the screen of your mind until it manifests into the physical form. And so it is quite simple, but we, we tend to uh, get confused and we tend to mess it up. But there's four things that you want to do during this entire process that are really important and really, really assist you in getting to that end result, that goal, that dream, that desire that you have faster. And so the first thing is the vibration in which you operate at. So it is so important as much as you possibly can to be in a high vibe, okay? So this means a good mood. You're living in a world of love, joy, gratitude, happiness, where you are so blessed to have what you currently have in your life. Because when you are at that state, when you are vibrating or oscillating higher and faster, your point of attraction is the same thing. So when you have things in your life that you're incredibly grateful for and you see them every day, you attract more things to be grateful for. When you are happy for what you have in your life, you attract more things to be happy about. So you want to make sure that you're in this state as much as possible. So you are always attracting the positive things to you and not the negative things. We will all have those negative things creep in, but it's the overall vibration that you're in day after day, which determines that point of attraction. The second thing that is so incredibly important in the manifestation process. And I think if you don't know what it is that you want, then you're just manifesting more of what you already have. So this is why having a clear, crisp and specific idea in your mind for what you want is so important. Some people like to focus on a single thing like a car or a rank in their business or a certain amount of money in the bank. But for me, I think it's really important that you have a specific idea of the lifestyle that you are aspiring to bring into the physical form. So when you can actually feel what it feels like to live that life, that is when you have a clear picture and idea of the lifestyle that you wish to have in your physical world now. So we need to know how much money does it cost? How do I spend my day? What is my perfect day? What are some of the things that I will be doing and the experiences that I will be having? And how do I feel about myself after I've achieved it all? So even when I say that to you right there, you have an idea of what all of that looks like. And so if the idea is exactly what you already have, you are manifesting, but you're simply manifesting the same. Switch your focus to manifesting what you want instead. Uh, this next one is so important. Some people struggle a bit with this, but if we break it down and we keep it super simple, there is no struggle, but an opportunity for growth. And so the next thing 
uh, that is so important in the manifestation process is that you completely ignore your current results. So this means you're no longer gonna live according to your five senses, and you're gonna live according to the fourth dimensional thinking, which is using your imagination. So what we're gonna do is that lifestyle that we just talked about, we are gonna go there in our imagination and we're gonna live there. We are gonna experience what it feels like, we're gonna feel that frequency of vibration, and we're gonna come back to the physical world and we're gonna bring that vibration to here. We are then not gonna notice things in our physical world that contradict what we just put into our imagination or as Esther Hicks calls it, the vortex. We're not going to disregard and contradict that. We are going to remain neutral and we're gonna ignore it because we know that reality is what we create in our imagination not what we see in the physical world. So I am no longer going to pay attention to the debt in my bank account. I'm gonna pay attention to the $10,000 that I see in my bank account in my imagination. So my focus remains on what I'm creating and I no longer pay attention to the things in my physical world that contradict that. It takes some practice, but once you live according to your imagination, it is so incredibly powerful and everything around you will become what you see there instead of what you see here becoming more and more of your future. And the last part to break down in the manifestation process is the movement of your body towards the goal. So there is a misconception that manifestation is sitting in a beautiful meditative state thinking of everything that you want and it just showing up on your lap without you having to do a single thing. Because here's the thing, if you acted as if success was guaranteed, you would move your body towards the attainment of that which you seek. So it is so incredibly important that every single day you move your body towards the goal, towards the thing that you desire and do it in an energy of knowing, in a faith that every step you take, takes you closer. So then you end up having these two forces at work for you. The movement of your body towards the end result, towards the goal, and the magnetic forces of you pulling it towards you. And this is what happened for me. I moved my body while pulling everything towards me, and what happened seemed like magic, but it was all a conscious manifestation of what I wanted. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that breaking down manifestation to these four steps makes things super simple and easy for you to do. I would love to hear in the comments which one of the four things resonated with you the most and which one you're gonna start implementing today. With gratitude, Kathleen.